Sorry about your wide body. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're doing a lot. We're gonna load the bug up on that trailer over there and we're gonna take it over to a place where I used to work where there is a pretty steep little drop off and we're gonna try and load it into a U-Haul. So stay tuned and see what happens. died but now me and Emma are on our way to go pick up a U-Haul dolly and then at one o'clock we're gonna pick up our 26 foot U-Haul truck and go deal with loading the bug up in it and that's gonna be a real fun one let's just hope that it goes smooth and that it all works out um, so I haven't really explained what's going on but just to drop the bombshell we're moving back to Utah so We've been, that's why I haven't put any videos out for the last couple of weeks. We've been running our tails off trying to get ready for it. Um, I've done a lot to the bug that I will show you when we get to Utah. Um, I got the floor built in it and a lot of stuff, but yeah, so. Alrighty, so I'm going to try something a little bit different here and give you guys a little bit of a voice over. So I wanted to explain what's going on in this time lapse. Um, I'm backing up the truck and Emma is guiding me right now. And when we get over there, we are strapping down the ramps to the bumper. Because I have watched plenty of fail videos where the ramps have shot out and I did not want that to happen. So the issue I had right here when trying to drive the bug up on is we're at a little bit of an angle. The uh, left hand side is taller than the right hand side and it just was a recipe for disaster. So I had the racing slicks on the car and right there you can see the tires were spinning and I couldn't get up where I needed to. So I ended up taking the ramps off and we're gonna move the truck over just a little bit. So now we move the truck over, we throw the ramps back up and we tried really hard to get the bug in here. So I thought long and hard about this and I was really hoping I could make it work. Um, but I tried to pull up right there and I was scared that the ramp was going to come out. So I realized I didn't have enough speed, my tires were spinning. So I backed up, readjusted my ramp and went to go for it again. And right there, my, uh, right there, I went in and I lifted up the right hand side ramp by accident and it slammed underneath the bottom of my car. So when the ramp slammed, it ended up high centering my car and it ended up actually ripping uh, a coolant line and some stuff. And so I think I tried one more time. No, okay. So I ripped the coolant line, I ripped the trans cooler line, and I ripped my fuel filter off all in one go right there. So we had to get Emma to come around and uh, I was hooking up the truck and then she ended up pulling the bug out because we couldn't push it. So while we were doing all this, the bug was just dumping coolant, ATF, engine oil, and fuel in the back of the U-Haul. It turned into a giant mess, and it just really wasn't good. And it was super stressful because we were trying to get the bug loaded so that we could leave that day for Utah. So I ended up just pushing the bug over and uh, left it there. And later I put it on a dolly and took it back to the farm. So we were unable to get the bug on this trip and it was really disappointing, but it just means more content when I go and get the bug later on. So I don't know. Let me know how you guys like this voiceover. I was just giving it a shot. I've never done it before, but I needed to kind of explain what was going on because my clips were a little bit jumpy. What's up guys. It is the next day. Yesterday was a complete disaster. 
Real quick, first, I'm going to back the Miata out and throw it on the dolly. but we just went through the worst rainstorm I've ever driven in. That's the, the light at the end of the storm. Oh my goodness, it was, I couldn't see anything. Emma couldn't see anything. It was absolutely crazy, but we are in Mississippi. Somewhere in Mexico, I'm getting gapped by another U-Haul. No, Monica! Nope, the 15-foot super mover put the gapel sauce on me, boys. Just can't compete. Now, we are somewhere in Louisiana. We're just mobbing. We're about two hours away from our hotel. And so far, everything's going smooth. We went through some absolutely horrible, horrible rainstorms. The worst I've ever driven in. But Emma's a trooper. This is her first time ever towing anything. And... Uh, first time driving this far and she's doing freaking awesome I'm super proud so yeah hopefully it'll be not very eventful from here on out so I'll keep updating along the way I might just show you guys when we hit Cedar City I don't know but we are cruising getting 8.2 miles to the gallon in the uh, 26 foot U-Haul so it hurts but we're gonna get there. Miata gang, he's popping his headlights at us. Yeah, boy. <laughs> we got two Miatas on dollies. We got a little NA right there. The guy's freaking cool. <laughs> and we're in stop traffic in Fort Worth. So this is great. Oh yeah, everything bigger in Tejas. What are those? Sorry about your wide body. Sad. Well, we're gonna get this fixed. Those are torqued down on, those are torqued down, strapped down, ramps are up. I think we're good. It actually doesn't look bad with the chromies on it. <sighs> Such a fun trip. We're almost there, we're like four hours away. We're like, we're 260 miles away, so we'll see uh, if we get there.